This is what a piece of metal looks like on the inside. Researchers at Aachen University use computer simulations to learn how metal changes when it's forged, welded or milled. Lutz Schaap heads the research project. Twenty institutes at the school are rethinking industrial production from the ground up. Right now, standard practice is to look at individual phenomena, but in reality they don't take place in isolation but in combination. For the first time, we're examining them in combination to see what really happens. That knowledge is the foundation for production here in Germany 50 years from now, and also the foundation for future prosperity, considering that all the jobs depend on manufacturing. And that's why business is also collaborating in the research. For example, at the DST company. Here, some 500 workers turn out heavy machinery for power plant production. Our big challenge as special machine builders is to provide our clients with custom solutions as fast as possible. So we have two conflicting goals. One is to provide individualized solutions for our customers, and the other is to use modular building blocks for standard solutions. All the more reason to use developmental tools like simulations in the early phases to make sure what we plan will actually function. These machines cost several million euros. It's expensive if a machine proves defective. Markus Kleins wants solutions from the university that prevent that. If I could have one wish granted, I'd want to motivate young people at colleges and here in our company so that we can make even better products. And making better products saves costs. For example, with laser technology. It needs no mechanical tools. At Aachen University, metal powder is laid down layer for layer and a laser is used to melt it into forms. This part shows what kind of internal structures and channels can be made. We don't have to produce with conventional methods anymore. We can drill around a corner. We can make circles or channels that grow. That's not possible with conventional methods. Unconventional technology is also used in artificial intelligence. Here, researchers are teaching a robot to spell. The long-range goal is robots that can learn and can work independently. You really have to give it your best. But all of us working on the project do that. That's really emphasized. And then this is also a very good opportunity to play an active role in high-end research. Not every institute can make that same claim. Germany's Federal Research Ministry is providing 40 million euros to foster this project at Aachen University as an excellence cluster. We have the opportunity to make tremendous advances in areas that have always been present and to advance a new focus and then embed it in new research projects. Second, we can train people, assistants who are getting their doctorates here and are then available to industry. And for companies, they will be good acquisitions, young researchers who are ensuring German industry remains competitive.